Jay Butera is a former businessman who has spent the last 10 years on a singular task, convincing Republican members of Congress to act on climate change. Today, he is in Utah at a town hall meeting, trying to win over Congresswoman Mia Love. Before the meeting, Jay meets with his colleague Tom Moyer, and also Jerry Taylor, an economist and former climate skeptic. So, tell us about Congresswoman Mia Love. She's down the line conservative on abortion, on fiscal responsibility, on the military. A Tea Party conservative Republican. When she ran, uh, what was her energy platform? It was basically everything the fossil fuel industry could wish for. Opposing all EPA regulations, growing the industry, opening up new lands to development. Right, this is as bad as it could be. And somewhere in all that, you saw a glimmer of hope. No, <laughs> no, I can't claim that I did. But she's been clear that she accepts that, that human beings contribute to climate change. The only question is what to do about that. What kinds of policies would a conservative Republican adopt? So my job is to convince her constituents that you can accept the case to act against climate change without being a socialist. I'm perf positive. I used to be a climate skeptic, so I have some credibility uh, with that community. If the Congresswoman steps forward on climate change, what's the significance of that? I think it's huge. There are other Republicans who have come forward on climate change, but she'd be the first in this region of the country. She'd be by far the most conservative. Everybody in the party would pay a heck of a lot of attention to this. I mean, if a conservative Republican representing oil, gas, and coal interests in her district can be convinced of the case to act on climate change, then that is a huge, huge signal to the rest of the GOP of where this debate might go. It's time for the town hall meeting with Mia Love. Jay is nervous. He's unsure how the Congresswoman will react. I want to first of all start um, by thanking everyone for coming tonight. I want you to know that I am first and foremost a representative of the 4th District. So if anybody's concerned about anything, then I am concerned about it also. The meeting starts with some climate science. But the risks that we are facing are significant and one might even say extreme and ends with a discussion on carbon pricing. To simply put a price on carbon is the best and most cost-effective means of doing this. I think what conservatives miss is that climate change too imposes costs. There's nothing particularly conservative about playing dice with the planet. So I would like to ask the Congresswoman, <laughs> since there's been legislation in front of Congress for the last three or four or more years on a carbon tax, where are we going with it? Well, that's why we're having these discussions. <laughs> I'm open to hearing as many solutions as possible and making sure that when we bring something forward that we're all, you know, we're all united in that effort. Including the carbon tax. If that's the solution. If that's what we... <laughs> we have a consensus, more or less, on carbon pricing. What can we do to help make that happen? Buy Representative Love a drink and talk to her. <laughs> so, thank you all for being here. Jay, would you mind standing up for a minute, please? I wanted to say thank you for working with our office. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Congresswoman. The meeting is over. What did she think? Representative Love agrees to a future meeting with Jay back in Washington. No matter what you decide to do, I think it just says so much that you took the time to hear everyone's opinions. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't be having these discussions. So thank you for participating. What, could, what more could we ask for? 